All right, I'm here with Lewis, Lewis. and Luke from Fool's Gold, day 18 of Ish. South by Southwest. Yeah. How, uh, how's it going so far? Well, we were in the trenches for 10 days. We lost all supplies. We got cut off from our master commander, and we just kind of been flowing with it. Fool's Gold is the name of the band. What's, can you give me a brief, like, Cole's Notes version of uh, what you guys... Um, eight highly attractive and diverse grown-up men with passion for beats and music making on stage and in the studio and very, very good friends, all good friends of each other. Half of the band are referred to as the lions because they snore, and the other half are the lambs because they don't snore. They have a lion. You're talking band. the two lions right here. You guys sing in uh, in Hebrew, correct? Do you sing in Hebrew? He, he doesn't sing in Hebrew. He do sometimes. Do you find that, I do. Do you find that there are things you couldn't say in English that you, f you feel like you can say in Hebrew, um, like maybe the lyrics? There are things that I can say in a different way in Hebrew, uh, melodically especially, um, that can't be sung the same way in English. Things you can do melodically. Do you think subject matter? Do you think there are things you, you um, wouldn't want to say in English so. because you'd be embarrassed I think to? Maybe? Because my grasp of Hebrew is more limited than English, um, I tend to simplify my, my, my lyrics, which is a good thing. I feel like I, I cut the fat more. How connected to the Jewish mafia are you? <laughs> yeah. Very? Would you say very, um, a little bit, or extremely? Um, anywhere between extremely and of course. Okay. <laughs> so you guys, people make a lot of, uh, spill a lot of ink about your weird c convergence of, of uh, Afro, Beat or Afro pop or whatever, and, no and singing in Hebrew. Is. I know you don't, but <laughs> but do people ever talk about your rock influences? Like, because I because I'm sure you have you have some straight up for sure, or you different know, sort of. For, yeah, I think that uh, Afro rock almost works better for us sometimes, in a sense. And and he Hebrew rock, Hebrew rock. Hebrew rock, you know, the Hebrew is just kind of on the side. You know, it's, it's How about, floating around. Does, is Tom Verlaine of television a, a particular... That's fine yeah, that you say that because he's a super influential on my guitar playing. Is he? Yeah, Tom Verlaine and then Neil Young specifically as an electric guitar player, not as a songwriter or singer. Um, so yeah, that people never say that. You're the first person to ever notice that. But it is something that is definitely in there. I, uh... I'm some, somewhat of a scooper. That's Scoop good. Smith, I like it. As they say in the biz. <laughs> what do you guys see as the... What's your five-year plan for Fool's Gold? Retirement. <laughs> well, we got six members now. I think the next tour will probably be four. Really? And then at some point we'll have two members, and then it'll just be Luke by himself. I think that's the five-year plan. Solo. Have you ever thought about that, like <laughs> axing the other six members from your current lineup and like just killing them? <laughs> well, axing them or chopping them up. I mean, like you can asking do... them. <laughs> axing. I'm from... What are we gonna ask them? No, we like our other members. It, it does get pretty difficult sometimes moving around with everybody, but we can do it without them. Definitely. I mean, I think there's uh, that adds a lot when you see a, a band on stage and everyone's uh, yeah, a I real mean, momentum. For sure. Even like the the I think what's special about Fool's Goal and what we set out to do is that there's lots of people, but each individual is playing a very small part, and they're all interlocking parts, part of like a kind of greater good, kind of a communal idea behind it. <laughs> I wanted to ask what your uh, relationship to jam bands were. Do you jam? Oh, this is a very hot topic. Is it? Um, yeah, because I think that there's a pejorative when you talk about jam bands. Mm -hmm. I, for one, I love The Grateful Dead. I really love Jerry Garcia, which is another guitar player. Never, people never ask me about Jerry Garcia. But um, They ask you about Cherry Garcia. The Cherry Garcia all the time, was... right? Well, it's not a writer. Yeah. That's um, why we're poking fun at our weight. Oh. It's because he's skinny, man. Anyway, yeah, so um, we do love the jam, but people don't like to, people are really scared of talking about jam music because I think that we're pretty unconnected uh, to the jam rock scene. 
you're un you're, you're disconnected. You're disconnected. Totally but disconnected. You jam. Would you say like, you don't have predetermined lengths to some of your songs? You might no, play them yeah. longer. Might play Definitely. Them uh, we let we call it flowing sometimes. Sometimes trancing out. We try to stay away from the word jam. Yes. Our managers ask us to stay away from the word jam, and I am not kidding. Brian Smith. <laughs> So we don't jam. Officially, we don't jam. We can't really but classify it as a jam band. Jammers. We can't say we're a jam band. Off the record. But we're a band that, you know. Do you ever wear jammers? Do you know what jammers are? Jammers. Does it have a Z at the end? No. Oh, man, then I don't wear it. In the 80s, they were shorts that came down super low. Oh. And they usually were brightly colored. I used to wear jammers. Oh, I'd wear them. Maybe that's a Canadian thing. I don't know. Do you have anything else do you guys want to talk about or say? Or? Is there anything um, other bullshit you want to say, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> any um, any more abstract poetry you want to flow uh, with? Um, I don't know. Scoops, druids, um, <laughs> abstract ideals flowing through my veins, inspired by the light flowing inside the apocalyptic meadow, <laughs> drained by the light of of Gwar's tour bus, rolling off gasoline, sweat beads. Off the angelic river, um, climbing up the alpine trail of medicinal marijuana, putting on your nightcap before you drink, your death smack on your forehead. Yo, before you go dead, you better start with your head and go down to your toes, because what you know is I can't rap. Mm. Wow. Sorry, sorry about that. You guys have sufficiently <laughs> wasted my time. I'd like to thank you very much. I'm really hurt yeah. by that. I'm, I'm, my, my feelings are...